Thank you, uh, Leader. Two pieces of news in the past few uh, days have caught my attention. Two linked items which, uh, by which, in my mind, raise some discrepancies. They were, one, the seizing of a mansion in Sigurd by the Criminal Analysis Bureau from Mansfields on account of it being effectively owned by Daniel Kinahan, and B, the announcement yesterday by the Minister McEntee that two million sourced from the proceeds of crime is to be invested into community projects. The use of cash criminal proceeds in this way is to be lauded indeed. It was a motion by independent uh, Lao councillors led by Councillor Paddy McQuillan that this brainchild was born. It is our communities on the ground who suffer due to the selfish action, action of criminals and it is the people of those communities who should receive uh, every support we can give to allow them to build stronger and safer communities. Just as we build up our police force to suppress crime, we must also build up our communities to prevent it. Community projects which foster together the interconnectivity are an integral part of this. This use of liquid criminal proceeds is of obvious benefit, so why are we so slow to liquidate other assets. This seized mansion, which could fetch anywhere between one to two million, will in, instead languish on the books of the CAB or its approved receiver for years, during which time it will be left vacant, serving no one, and monies will have to be spent to maintain it and keep it secure. During a housing crisis, the proceeds from this property could be used to house multiple families or even directly used uh, itself as housing. Why the delay in accomplishing this? It is time to have a look at the proceeds of Crime Act and allow the CAB to expedite the sale of criminal assets in order that those proceeds might speedily benefit our communities as well. Perhaps the Minister for Justice might address the House with her opinions on this matter. Thank you. Sorry, uh, Dr Kilgan this, morning, or this afternoon spoke about um, the very welcome announcement of the new funding that we're now going to use um, the, the products of the seizure of, of criminal assets um, to redistribute into the communities that have been most blighted by um, crime. Um, and the announcements were made of the first two million this week. Um, Bob Riggan was uh, very lucky enough to score 150 euros. I know there's one in me, there's one you know, nearly uh, all over the country. But you are, I'm, I'm flabbergasted to hear that we have to keep assets for six years before we can dispose of them and realise the cash. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So I will certainly make inquiries. And if it requires a tweak in the legislation, like I, I would think that if we see something, we have the authority to seize it. That I'm not sure what we're sitting around for six years waiting to realise the, uh, the value of the money for it. I'll come back to you. Um,